Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today I'd like to talk about a problem with our ProPrite hitch and the solution that we've found to fix the problem. We've had a ProPrite P3 hitch on our 30 foot Airstream travel trailer for about 18 months. The hitch does exactly what it's advertised to do and it does it very well. I would highly recommend it. The only problem that we've had so far with the hitch is the way it's designed the pivot axles are vertical and on top of the vertical hubs are hubcaps. Those hubcaps, when it rains, unfortunately allow some water to get into the hubs and into the bearings. When I put the trailer away last fall, I pivoted the hitch by hand just to make sure that the bearings were still nice and smooth. Well, they weren't smooth and they were actually making a pretty bad grinding noise. I took the hitch off, brought it home, put it on the workbench and took it apart. And I found lots of rust. I found bearings that were completely shot. They had to be replaced. I ordered a bearing replacement kit from ProPride, which comes with bearing seals, new cotter pins, and new hubcaps. And I would recommend just ordering it from ProPride. It's all the right part numbers. And I tried to source it from Amazon. And frankly, it was really difficult to find the right part numbers and it wouldn't have been any cheaper. So just order it from ProPride. I reassembled the hitch. Everything looks great, except we still have the problem of how do we keep water out of the bearings? I thought about a couple solutions that may have worked, but they didn't really seem like they'd be a good long-term solution. So I was standing at the hitch contemplating, how in the world am I going to keep the water out of these bearings? And there was a bottle of Plastidip uh, liquid tape on the bench. I, I thought, well, wouldn't it work just to put on several coats of the liquid tape? I put five coats of the liquid tape on, which gave me a nice thick seal, painted the entire cap in the gap between the cap and the hub, and down about an inch onto the hub. And now I have a waterproof seal that keeps the water out, and I no longer have the problem of getting water in the bearings. The problem is fixed. This is a great solution to the problem of water intrusion into the bearings on the ProPride. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, please subscribe.